Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sidekr. In this video, I'm going to do the 30 minutes of extreme CPU throttling test comparison between the Realme X1 Max versus Realme GT Neo 2 after Android 13 update. So both phones, I did update to the Android 13 update and I'm going to use the 100 threads and 30 minutes of time while doing this kind of testing. I will try to monitor the temperatures, how much high temperatures it's going to increase between this both devices. Snapdragon 870 versus Dimensity 1000. 200 processor. So that's what I'm going to compare between these two phones at this moment in this video. So let's get started friends and again I'll be back after 5 minutes of time to check the temperatures. So right now as you can see friends after 15 minutes of time these are the CPU throttling graph looks like between the Realme X and Max and the Realme GT Neo 2 after Android 13 update and the temperatures are 37 degrees Celsius and 41 degrees Celsius. Slightly higher in the Snapdragon 870 when compared with the Dimensity processor between these both phones. And I will be back at the end of the test results to check the temperature. So finally friends, this is the quick comparison guys between the Realme GT Neo 2 and the Realme X and Max device after Android 13 update and try to look at the graph and try to look at the difference of temperatures and the performance numbers, maximum, minimum and the average. So please pause this video and try to observe the scores, which phone has got what type of results. The Snapdragon 870 in the Realme GT Neo 2 is pretty stable after Android 13 when compared with the Realme X and Max device. So until then, instead of more updates, friends, this is a quick comparison, guys, between these both phones. Meanwhile, signing off. Until then, bye.